Morning, another day, another real test. Today we're doing on the Marshall Mode 2, which are the wireless earbuds that just came out from Marshall. They happen to be apparently the first truly wireless earbuds from the rock and roll brand. So in this video, we're gonna go throughout my day. I'm gonna talk about the audio quality. Uh, we're gonna talk about the battery life and some of the things that I've just kind of noticed about them. But also I'm gonna try to show you guys what they sound like and some of their competitors using the weird little ear contraption that I built a while ago to at least try to let you guys hear them as best as I can. And besides that, I think we're also gonna head into the city and we're gonna check out some more musically historic places just for a nice little backdrop to this. But first things first. Hi. Good for David, yeah? Take care. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Coffee. Check. Uh, and welcome to Strawberry Fields. Now, in warmer weather, this is usually covered with sunbathers and picnic goers and the like, um, but it's freezing. So none of that today, but it is directly adjacent to the Dakota Apartments, which is where John Lennon and his wife Yoko Ono used to live. It's also where he was found dead as he was shot right outside of the apartment. And in, that happened in 1980. In 1981, this area was renamed to Strawberry Fields in honor of him, uh, named after the Strawberry Fields Forever Beatles song. Imagine all the people living for today. <laughs> but while we're here, let's take this time to talk about the styling of the headphones. So they look very martial. What I mean by that is they resemble the speakers, their other headphones, etc., with this rubberized leather look and metallic accents that we're used to from the brand, as well as their M logo, which is maybe my least favorite part about the styling personally, as someone who's just more minimalistic with my aesthetics. But the rest of the design, I actually do kind of like, and even the M isn't too bad to me. And actually, I'm very much into more minimalistic looking things, but these headphones, I don't mind. And I think it's, they're just enough accoutrement. Like if there was a little bit more, I, I probably wouldn't like them, but they don't take it too far. And so I do still like them. And frankly, I just appreciate that they're another truly wireless earbud now in the space that at least has a different look compared to the more popular ones, which all kind of have a very similar vibe. And it just offers more choices for people. I know there are a lot of people out there that actually prefer this type of a look to the more minimalistic ones that we've seen. Now, as far as the fit is concerned, they're small enough that they don't protrude out of your ears too much, which is appreciated. Um, and they also come with a bunch of different sized ear tips. Now, I've said this before with other truly wireless headphones that come with ear tips, try the other ones. Like even a size up or a size down can actually make a huge difference into how well they stay in your ear, as well as kind of the noise isolation that happens from it like filling your ear canal, which is important. Okay, and let's use this as one of the places that will test the sound quality using the ear. Now, if you're not familiar, I'm gonna put uh, a microphone in the back of the tube here that's connected into the ear that I've drilled a hole into. Um, and we're gonna put our headphones in there, our different earbuds, and see how they sound. Okay, let's head downtown for another stop. Welcome to Studio 54, or at least it used to be. What is now a theater for a very brief and yet very famous period of time between 1977 and 1980 used to be one of the most infamous nightclubs in New York City. 
David Bowie, as we call him in the States, Mick Jagger, Andy Warhol, and tons of other celebrities and music icons of the day used to frequent late nights and usually very early mornings here before the owners were jailed for tax evasion. Despite its relatively short stint, there's a good chance that you guys probably know of it or have at least heard of it. And there was even a museum exhibit planned for March of 2020, right before, you know, COVID hit. I wish it wasn't COVID and we could go inside and check it out, but it's, uh, it's closed, so. Let's see what these sound like on a train, shall we? Okay, I had to cut uh, the tour short in the city. Back in Brooklyn now, another coffee, cause duh. Uh, but we're gonna go meet my dad in the park. Hi, Dad. Hey, dude. How's it going? Good. All right, and while we're here, let's talk about how you control these things. Okay, so firstly, you tap on the right side to pause and play. You can double tap to skip forward, triple tap to skip back. And then on the left side, you can tap once to turn on transparency, on and off. Personally, just so you know, I, I can't really tell a big difference between transparency on and off, but I also have pre-release device and pre-release software, so maybe that has something to do with it, but I can't tell for now. Also, if you triple tap on the left earbud, you can get the assistant of your choice. And so on this phone, because it's a Samsung, it lets me choose between Bigsby, uh, Amazon Alexa, and Google Assistant. And I will say that the tap sensitivity, eh, I wanna say it's, it's probably on par with like the Galaxy Buds Pro, which if you've seen my video on that, I kind of mentioned isn't amazing. You kind of just have to be very deliberate with your taps and it's the same with these. You have to like tap, not just lightly tap. So I meant to check into the battery earlier, but I kept putting them back in the case and the case recharges them. And for some reason, the app does not tell you how much battery is in the case, which is what I intended to use to kind of figure out how much battery was left in the whole scenario. But now I use them for 45 minutes straight without putting them in the case, and we lost 8%. Okay, let's talk about a few other things I noticed about these headphones. So firstly, the headphones themselves are IPX5 rated, but also the case is IPX4, which I don't think I've seen another pair of headphones that has like a proper rating for their case and not just the headphones. So needless to say, they're both pretty water resistant, which is great. Also, the case does provide an extra 20 hours according to Marshall when you put them in to charge them. And as I said earlier, I kept putting them in and they just kept going back to 100%, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I had to leave them out to do that battery test, but I think that they, they last a decent amount of time. Like five hours is what they're rated for in a row. I never really sit and listen to my headphones for that long without taking them out at some point and putting them in the case. And every time you do that, they just charge back up. So it, it lasts me a full day, which is all I really care about. I also like that that case can be charged by USB-C, but also wirelessly charged. And I have a ton of wireless chargers, so I always appreciate that as well. Now, as far as they sound, um, I'm not a big audiophile to be completely frank, but to me, they sound pretty good. They sound kind of on par with some of the other headphones that I've used. The one thing I will say though, that is kind of nice about them is that their volume is a lot louder than any other headphones I use. And you can kind of tell that when I was showing you guys the sound because I, I had them set to the same level in the phone, like, you know, six out of 10 on the phone's like volume scale, but they sounded much louder at that same six out of 10 than any of the others did. And they do, when you push to the 10, sound a lot louder than the other ones, which is just kind of, Cool, I like that. I feel like the other headphones kind of baby us, they don't want us to hurt ourselves. Whereas Marshall's like, you wanna go deaf? Just do it. It's your prerogative. Another thing that you need to know about them though, and 
kind of already alluded to this because you didn't see me test it, is there is no active noise canceling. These headphones don't have that and that's fine. They do sound decent. They get louder than anyone else. The isolation is actually pretty good so long as you get the right uh, ear tip to block out as much sound as possible. But the problem with it is that they're priced higher than any of the other non-ANC truly wireless earbuds. They come in at $179 and that's a decent amount more than the other non-ANC uh, truly wireless earbuds. And it's only a small amount to then get to a ANC truly wireless earbud price. Like for example, the AirPods Pro is about $200. You can find them now, honestly, online. Um, and the same for the Galaxy Buds Pro is around that as well. So something just to keep in mind. There you go. My uh, Marshall Mode 2 real world test. We're gonna end it there. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.